seven things you need to know to start your day. Number one. That's right. So winter weather advisory returns this afternoon heading into tomorrow morning. Several more inches of snow for the tri states three plus in some isolated locations. Number two, Fort Madison residents will head to the polls again to decide on the fate of two elementary schools. School board members hope the third time is the charm in passing the $30 million bond referendum that would relocate kindergarten through third grade students. That election is not until April. Number three, a McDonough County resident reported a reckless driver to the 911 dispatch center last year. We are now learning that the driver turned out to be McDonough County Sheriff Rick Van Broker. Number four, authorities in Iowa say one person has died and several others hurt after dozens of vehicles collided along a snow covered stretch of Interstate 35 near Ames. Up to 70 cars, buses and trucks were involved in the string of crashes, which forced the closure of I-35 in both directions. Also this morning, investigators are keeping a very close eye on Wall Street today following Monday's volatile trading session. The Dow Jones Industrial Average plunged more than 1100 points amid fears of rising inflation and potential interest rate hikes. Also, the House Intelligence Committee voted unanimously yesterday to release the Democratic response to the so-called Nunes memo. The move came just days after the committee released an outline of what Republicans call abuses by the FBI in early days of the Russian investigation. At number seven, millions of fans are expected to be on hand for the Philadelphia Eagles victory parade. The team, as you know, won its first Super Bowl championship on Sunday after the defeating the New England Patriots 41-33. The victory parade is set for this Thursday.